have conception vessel that comes up the mouth and down through the center of the body. It exits at the perineum, goes up the back, over the top of the head, and in through the mouth. And it's like a figure eight loop. GV the back, CV the front. Over time, this one expands to the two, and then slowly the 12 appear to accommodate the information flow in a highly complex organism. So, standing above all others in importance, regulating the other 12, you know, we need to have a way to perceive that and to address that. Other than that, it's like kind of in a an automobile with no engines. You know, you keep changing the tires, keep changing, you know, different the steering wheel, the upholstery, but it's still not going to run any differently. You know, you have to address like engine functioning. It's not that the 12 meridians are these different entities that are controlled by the other two entities. But just like the two are one, that these 12 are, I would just say, they are personalities of the one. So lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen are not like different really. They're the same thing, but just a different expression of it certain part of the information there. Here, it was the whole thing already. The, the one was just all the information. But now it's like parts of the information have to be dispatched because the organism is more complex. That we can understand that. Another way that we could understand it is take a prism And if we put white light through the prism, what do we know? That we have we have the color spectrum. So what are these colors? Are they something separate from this white light? Or are they like kind of frequencies? They're partial frequencies, but if you add them all up, I guess if you could send them back they would have come back out as white light. So the 12 meridians are also the governing vessel, conception vessel at the same time, but more fragmental parts. The whole is the governing vessel, conception vessel. It's a kind of paradoxical statement in saying that if we can effectively work on governing vessel, conception vessel, we don't need the 12 meridians. However, sometimes to work on governing vessel, conception vessel, we can do that through one of the 12 meridians. So it's still very, very useful. Yeah. I know that it's, some of it's abstract and that it's a lot of connecting dots, but I hope that if it's not intellectually clear, that you let it give you an impression. If you have an image or you have some sense of what we're talking about here, it can even be better to get it out right away. But just let it exist as this impression. And let it come to you more in that state of an image and an image translating into a sensation.